Well, you only have to look to social media to know Sid was deeply loved and respected both here in Minnesota and all across the country. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz tweeted his condolences today, calling Sid, quote, one of a kind. Longtime sports commentator Keith Olbermann did the same, giving Sid credit for creating the Lakers basketball team, which started in the Twin Cities. Sportscaster Michelle Tafoya tweeted that Sid was a true legend who lived an extraordinary life. And former Twins player Ken Herbeck said, there will never be another Sid. And I think that pretty much sums it up. Sid's impact on the sports world cannot be overstated. Athletes, coaches, and executives alike remember his ability to build and maintain relationships. As Norman Seawright shows us, that makes all the difference in life. The thing that stands out to me when I heard about his passing was just his love for Minnesota sports. And um, not just any sport in particular, it was anything Minnesota, you know, and sports related. And, you know, he would come to, uh, to work every day and um, it was always, uh, you know, a pleasure to see him. Some of my fondest memories, um, Sid was there for, and he was a part of those. Um, some of my uh, hardest times in life, Sid was there for, there to put an arm around you. Well, my favorite memory probably was just watching uh, hundreds of Twins games with Sid and, you know, watching and talking baseball, but more importantly, talking family. To be covered by Sid Hartman. You know, he was somebody that earned the trust of the people that he covered. Was to be treated like family. You hear about him saying, this is my close personal friend, but a lot of times that, that was absolutely true. I have, I have so many thoughts of, of just a, you know, him calling early in the morning on a, on a Sunday back when I was growing up and hearing him trying to get a hold of my dad and, you know, the yelling through the phone and, you know, but it, it always came back to love. And, but but that, was, that was a relationship because he was a close personal friend. Well, you knew that you're going to get it uh, exactly what he thought, you know, and get it straight from him, you know. And like you said, off the camera, you know, those are a lot of things that I'll remember uh, him coming in. And, uh, you know, I know um, he's probably had that tape recorder for a long time. And his work is a reminder. The way he cultivated relationships and uh, ultimately uh, tried to find the positive in, uh, in every store. That people always remember how you make them feel. There are about five memorable characters in my life. I mean, really characters. He's number one. Uh, he's, he's the greatest character I ever knew. He, uh, he was generous to a fault. He was uh, uh, concerned about people. Sid was uh, an original for me, another one like him because he relied on his tenacious, uh, behavior and never say never uh never say no colleagues bosses all the same took lessons from sid hartman what i learned from sid is that there's always something there's layers behind the athletic achievement you know there's there's people there are real people that have real problems and i think i observed him and talking to him not just so much on the microphone but off the microphone and how we built up those relationships and that's something I learned and, and, and uh, took a lot of pride in as the years went by. So many taught people talked to him because he had been kind to them or their children. Above all, they learned the value of loyalty. He's been at kids' graduations. He's been at uh, uh, my wedding. He was at my late wife's funeral. Uh, he's always been there. Even if he didn't always commit names to memory. All the people that worked in, in, in our business appreciated it because it's like, oh my God, Sid Hartman talked to me. Didn't know my name, but he called me something else. <laughs> and that's the ultimate compliment. If Sid actually acknowledged you, uh, it was like, that was kind of a big deal. As he would say, let me give you one of his most important quotes. He's a pieces of work. <laughs> So fondly remember. I, I wish you could have seen him in his prime, Norman. I was just telling you this. I spent more time with him than any other person that I worked with in the media. And I just cherish every moment, every car ride, every lunch, every dinner, even though I picked up the check for most of them. I cherish every moment. 